Well, it's good for you guys who may be the first time you've heard me. This is Carcino. Um, every time there is a situation in this sport or whatever, you have personalities or what you would call characters such as Stephen A. Smith or others who would latch on to a certain situation or a certain player and would just ride them all the way to the end, whether they despise them or have some type of disdain or it's just good business for them to do so. Me, I tell people exactly how I feel. And I give it to you straight. But I give it to you from a right perspective. I give it to you from exactly what I'm seeing. So you can know there is no mixing, there's no doubt. There isn't any bias to it whatsoever. It's just the way it is. I don't like LeBron James. Everybody knows that. I, don't, I think he's a phony off the court and on the court. I don't think he's a very good basketball player. That's just it. And I think he should have been retired years ago. But that's my personal opinion. And I back it up with logic. Now, with that being said, LeBron has given you ample reasons to back up everything that I've stated. I mean, he continuously gives you that. And on top of it, On top of it, you have you have um, Stephen A. Smith, who's 54 years of age, or maybe 55. And to me, to be 54 years of age, or even 55, is too old to be carrying on the way that he is. Um, this disdain he has for Kyrie Irving is not good for the league when he's being paid to be on television to actually cover the sport. The National Basketball Association, who has a contract with ESPN, they promote their sport. And here's a guy who goes out of his way to basically pick and tear down Kyrie Irving, who's done nothing but state the truth and was honest. But He's the guy we got to tear down because I need the story. I need the headlines. And once again, Stephen A. makes it all about him. First off, he starts off with saying he contracted COVID over the weekend. But he only has mild symptoms because he got the vaccine. Which further makes his comments moronic. Because you're vaccinated and you're mad that someone else didn't get vaccinated. And that's supposedly is your plight with Kyrie that he won't go and get it. And because he has questions and reservations about it, and the fact that you got it over the weekend, 
and you've already been vaxxed echoes the questions that he had prior into coming into the situation he's in. Kyrie Irving did not sit out and decide not to play. The NBA did not punish Kyrie Irving for not playing. Stephen A, this is your this is the problem I have with you, your hypocrisy. Cause you said you're upset that the Nets made a concession for Kyrie Irving. when he's been away from basketball for 10 months. And then blaming him for the riots in the Capitol and he wanted to sit out for that because he was traumatized and didn't want to do basketball. And because of what happened with social justice the, around the league, he felt that they shouldn't be playing basketball. So he sat down. And you was mad. Because he was paid. Even though the team sat down. Stephen A., do you realize that everybody in the NBA... Another incident happened when well, Kyrie was saying that we shouldn't do this. The Milwaukee incident didn't even happen yet. Well, Kenosha. That incident happened during the playoffs where the Bucks decided they weren't going to play basketball and sit down. I don't see you sharing that same type of sentiment for the Milwaukee Bucks when they decided not to play. And then all the rest of the NBA decided to shut it down and not play those games in protest. But they had to get back to work, right? Because they weren't taking these things very seriously as they should have. When over 80% of their league is African American. It's very shocking that they had to take it still more seriously where they came out and made a statement because they weren't taking it seriously. And you're mad that the Brooklyn Nets reversed their course of action, which was egregious, you thought, on your part. Steven, how was the Nets' decision egregious? When it, what the decision they made in the beginning not to let him play till he was vaccinated was egregious because you had players already in the league who are not vaccinated. There are plenty of players in the NBA right now who are not vaccinated and playing basketball. The decision wasn't about the... the NBA, it was by the state of New York, which didn't make any sense because teams who have players on them that are not vaccinated and known to be not vaccinated because of their beliefs and their willingness to not get it, were traveling to these states, traveled to New York and was allowed to play basketball. That's the problem right there. That's the double standard. Why can't Kyrie play? And they can. The Nets and Marks should have made Kyrie available to play road games only from the very beginning. Now when they're depleted, and everybody's going down, and all of these people are vaxxed. And they're all contact tracing or whatever. Now, these are all the people that are supposed to be vaxxed. 
So you just further echoes Kyrie's sentiments. So it's okay for him to go get the vax and test positive anyway? That's better for everybody around him? He's just asking questions. That's all he's doing. He has reservations about it. He's not the only one in the league. Why would you target Kyrie Irving? If you don't like the man, you just don't like the man. But be honest. Have the balls enough to say it, Stephen A. The man doesn't ask you to like him. The man is doing his job and doing what's best for him and his family. His teammates, they're like, look, he's my teammate. This is a decision he made. Uh, they probably wouldn't have made it, but he's doing what they, what he feels is the right thing to do. But when Aaron Rodgers, Stephen, when Aaron Rodgers said he didn't get vaccinated, you know what he, you said? All Aaron Rodgers had to do was tell the truth. There's plenty of players in the NFL who are not vaccinated. All he had to do was say, hey, I'm not vaccinated. But he decided to lie. And you went off on him for being a liar. Right? Knowing that there were other players in the league that wasn't vaccinated. You were mad at Rodgers because he lied. But Kyrie Irving tells the truth. And you can't take it. Why is that? Can you please explain that to me? Why is that? My other concerns, because they are many, but my other concerns why are you so focused on the Brooklyn Nets? You're a Knicks fan. Shouldn't you be talking about the New York Knicks? Why your concern is in Brooklyn? But you're a Knicks fan. But your concerns seem to be geared at we're going to go right at the heart of the problem. And the heart of the problem is Kyrie Irving. Kyrie is eccentric. And you don't like that. Anybody who's not a company man or anti-company and anti-establishment or challenge status quo you don't like and all those players seem to be African American look you can say it's different you can stay in different but all I'm gonna say is I'm seeing with my own eyes what's actually going on here so, you tell me what it is. Because I'm starting to see an attack on African American players by another African American, and it seems to be like it's targeting this way. You don't have the same energy. When you went out to Rogers, you didn't have that same energy.
people are starting to catch on and get frustrated with your approaches. They put up with your shenanigans for years. And let's get this clear, brother. Ten years ago, just ten, you were looked at as a basic nobody. Ten years ago, you were looked at as basically a nobody in this game. I'm just being honest. Don't get mad at me, people. Ten years ago, people were not thinking about you. They weren't thinking about nothing you were doing to Skip Bayless and Jalen Rose blew you back up and they pulled you back in the circle. Because for a while, everybody was, what happened to Stephen A. Smith? They ain't know what happened to you. You were out in the wind waiting for them to call you back to do your job. You were out of a job. You was out of work. They was going to sit you down for the, your whole contract to expire. You know that. Come on. Stop playing. You was fired, B. Fired. Now, first take takes off, gave you a whole new look. You was even on the soap opera playing a character named Brick. There's nothing Brick about you whatsoever. <laughs> Switch entertainment uh, agencies. Uh, you switch agencies to an entertainment agency because that's what you are now. He's, in, he's with William Morris Agency now, in case you guys don't know because they're more in line with entertainment and they know how to promote him in that way so instead of being a sports agency he went more towards the entertainment route because that's what he's classified under now he's no longer a sports journalist which he was a half-assed journalist to begin with and we'll get into that later We'll get into that later, that you weren't even very good at your job. To give you guys a prime example, on the Patreon, just yesterday, I dropped some news that was going on in the NBA that nobody even knew about and it never was discussed until I brought it up yesterday because I shook the tree. You see, that's what you get when you go to the Patreon, right? So for the VIP people, you got to hear something that no one else is going to even tell you about. Now, we're going to break the mold all the way. Because today, you finna hear something about the National Football League in the Patreon. And we, finna, we shook that tree. That's called journalism. Now, I'm going to tell you what Stephen A. does and what he used to do. What he would do is see 
like most people do here they'll read the title of a video and then go on off to make a whole comment and a whole video based off a title that they haven't even seen the video they just saw the title that would be ignorant right because you don't even know what the person has said but yet you're commenting on something you know nothing about oh I saw you said this no you saw the title and start making a post what makes you sound ignorant because you don't even know what the person has said that's Stephen A. When he finds some information, he takes what's on the surface and runs with it. But we're going to get into that next time. But don't forget to subscribe to the page. Hopefully everybody liked this video. And definitely hit the like button subscribe and don't forget to support other pages like uh, Bus Life Sports News you have Kwame Brown, Bus Life Blood Boxing this page here Welcome to HD with the Two Eyes TV Seahawk, Jose Rodriguez his channel he's got a video out called Chop It Up I guess he's just talking right now I told him to fix his titles. He's doing it like Twitter posts. Um, who else out there right now that's doing some blood boxing has been ripping it up as usual. He's been just brutally laying these dudes down. Uh, D Style Boxing is still doing this thing. 78 Sports TV is doing this thing. Man. It's, it's a whole community out there. We don't need Stephen A. <laughs> we really don't. <laughs> it's like nobody needs Stephen A. Smith, bro. So, on that note, I'm out.